He's just a good old boy who loves burning rubber and driving fast. You're tuned into the Clay Milliken YouTube channel where you never know what you're going to see. Well, this is a first. Baby D and Bentley. I don't want to say they officially met today, but first time they've been in this shop together. So, I think we got the leaks fixed, possibly. So, as much as I haven't really shown it, I've been driving Baby D every day I'm home. It is my daily driver right now because my dually is in the shop. Had some transmission trouble with it. Something with the electronics. Transmission's fine. So I got to get Baby D into a more drivable everyday vehicle, which it has been. Every chance I get, I'm uh, having a blast with it. I have proof positive of that. As you can see, it keeps getting this black dotted up stuff back here. I keep washing it off and it keeps coming back. So I got to figure that out. There seems to be an issue with uh, rubber getting stuck on the back of the truck. Like it gets pretty thick back there. I'm not sure what causes that. I'm going to go to work. Got a quick question for y'all. So how many of you are fans of like the tinted headlights? Comment down below. Tell the truth. Do you like them? Do you not? I mean, granted, these are hammered. The front of Baby D's kind of hammered, actually. But I personally am not a fan of the tinted headlight lens thingy. Just thought about this. Some of you folks may be new to the channel and don't really know a whole lot about Baby D and hadn't went back and watched. Baby D has a 5.7 police car engine in it that, much to the disbelief of a lot of people that commented about it when I did it, was a police car engine that had a gazillion hours on it. I don't want to say miles that I called it the backyard junkyard hemi rebuild. Dingle ball honed it, hammered the carbon off of the pistons, did not take it to a machine shop, did not do anything. Dingle ball honed it with a dingle ball home that was way too big for the bores. Put some molly rings and bearings in it and called it good. A lot of folks said it'll never work. Been driving this thing every day for a while now. Runs good. Believe it or not, mileage is not bad. It's got uh, a 430 Moser Engineering 9-inch rear gear in the back of it, but it has a Silver Sport 6-speed dual overdrive transmission, .068 in 6 gear. So you can cruise this thing down the highway no problem, even with a 430 rear gear. And you can also have the rubber buildup problem on the back quarter panels. Again, not, I got to look into that. I don't know why that keeps happening. All right. Comment. Tinted headlights, yes or no? Me, it's a no, but y'all tell me if you like them or not. Folks, good morning. I don't know if it's morning or not. Anyway, got a little ahead of myself. I thought I was recording, and I was not. Dead battery will make that happen. So what am I doing? I'm out here in the driveway, figuring out how to work out low rider life trying to get gently loaded onto my little open trailer here and you can see so far so good i tried with just the ramps that didn't work ended up putting this piece under here a couple little two by sixes right there and so far so good so now does it hit on the bottom let's find that out
it uh, hit the front and I think some of that is because it is literally Dentley is so heavy squashing down on the back of the trailer picking up the back of my big old dually so I just stuck a couple jack stands keep the trailer from squatting let's see what that does oh that's close But there is daylight under there. Jack stand seemed to help. Let's keep going. Next problem. Wheelie bars are on the ground. That's a problem. <laughs> Back in the shop, we have got to figure out a way to make this a little easier, but uh, pulled it back in. Got to take the wheelie bars off because they're hitting the ground. I think if I kept going, it was just going to uh, pick the back of the truck up. We don't want to do that. So off come the wheelie bars. Ah! Okay. We're on. I have a couple of items I see already <laughs> couple one being I can't open the door so how do you how do you put the window up to go down the road that is uh, that's an issue and two <laughs> Mr. Jack stand is stuck. I should have thought that through a little better. But all in all, to be honest with you, the ramp deal, not that, not that big a problem, actually. Uh, looking at the dually, I would probably pull the truck up a little more, although it's setting pretty level. Setting pretty level. I can tell you this, that's way easier loading than putting it in an enclosed trailer. This is way better. Kind of a funky rainy day here. Temperature's not too bad. So after trying to figure out loading Dentley onto our trailer here, I discovered I can't open the door. So in between raindrops, I've been out here, I cut the, the fender off of it. Been on YouTube looking. So I'm gonna make some kind of deal. I'm gonna put a L piece of angle iron on the back of the fender and some pieces to lay back on here so that you set the fender down on it. Boom, it's there. And that is what I've been doing in between raindrops. So here the got the fender cut off. Yes, I made a mess here and there trying to grind that thing off there but i've got it i am certainly no fabricator or welder but we're gonna make this work so that dently can go on and off the trailer and i can open the passenger passenger the driver's side door so i can get out check out this craziness look at this shop i've got tools stuff turned over bags stuff and I have no idea what you're going to get in this video, but uh, I did get something. It's not completed, but before the sun goes down, I had to show y'all what I got done. So here's our fender. I put a couple of handles on there, basically just cabinet handles. Did a little tread plate right there. Let me pull this thing off here right quick. I'll show y'all how it works. Grab the handles, boom. Right off. Pretty simple, but hours and hours of work. I've got to get a little CRC OSHA approved paint and spiff it up a little bit. So I just did tread plate right here, a little gusset on the side, a piece of one and a quarter angle there. Same thing down there, the two handles. 
should be able to open the door on Dentley now. I know this is way, I don't know what it is, way crazy, not crazy, way odd, whole bunch of different things that I've been doing this week. But as always, I just like to uh, bring you guys along. Hope you enjoyed it. And maybe we'll get into some burnouts when it warms up a little bit. Get Dentley a little closer. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Share it with your friends. Let's, let's get to that uh, 45,000 number where we can give away that starting line shirt. See you guys in the next one. Pretty easy.